how to find the missing side length of a rectangular prism when you know the volume, part one. For this piece of mathematics, I'm teaching in two parts. Today, in part one, you get the nuts and bolts of it, how to find the right answer. Part two is the follow-on video, how to ace a question using rigorous technique which scores you extra marks in an exam. In a rectangular prism, if you're told the volume and two of the three dimensions, you can work out the missing side length. How do we do it? OK, you know how you multiply up all your measurements to get the volume? Well, you can undo that math by using the inverse operation. You can divide the volume down by your measurements to find the missing side length. Check it out on this example. The volume is 165 centimetres cubed. Length is 11 and width is 3. We have to find the height. First, I'm going to divide by 3, because it's easy. 165 divided by 3. 3 is into 16. 5 threes of 15 remained a 1. And 3 is into 15 again, 5. 55. Now we divide by the other dimension, length 11. That will give us the missing side. We know that 5 elevens are 55, so the height is 5 centimetres. And we can check our work by multiplying all the sides together to show the volume. We'll get 165 if we did the math right. Let's check. 11 threes are 33, and now multiply that by 5. 3 fives are 15, and 3 fives are 15 again, plus this 1, 16, 165. Nice. How cool is that? Make a note of this in your math book to help you as you do problems like this for yourself. OK, so that's the bare bones approach to success. Use it, ace your math problems with it, and then when you're ready to learn the technique that gets you every last mark in an exam, come on back for part two. See you soon on Let's Do Math.